Welcome back, everybody, to the Pokemon TPP version playthrough. This is part 31, the final part. Ah, <sighs> it's about time. I'm pretty friggin' hyped. And uh, so hyped, in fact, that once again I got the backgrounds done before doing the commentary. Just so we can make sure that, uh, by we, I mean, you know, me and, and, and all of you, can make sure that we're all on the same page here. Alrighty. So here we go with, uh, Elite Four member number three. It's Agatha, once again, using, uh, the Koga strat of, uh, just, you know, filling out the team with a bunch of friggin' fu uh, poison types. I almost said fire types, and I don't know why. Poison types! And, um... And yeah, we're, we're gonna just rocky through all of them, I think. Uh, also, there was at least one thing that I wanted to get to. Well, actually, there, there's a number of different things that I wanted to get to, and that specifically is the, um, the slogans <clears throat> that I asked you guys for really early on in the playthrough. You know, I mentioned how uh, I wanted to do something similar to the Soul Server playthrough where everybody was picking a team to be on, you know, a team uh, Rocky, Team Mouser, Team Shelly. I'm going down the line here on the, on the bar. Uh, and, you know, and, and giving them, like, a slogan for, you know, a team slogan. And so, uh, you know, we well, just wanted to run through all those. I'm not really gonna be picking favorites, I'm just gonna be reading most of them, actually. Uh, because I think I got enough of them that, uh, I can, I can fit them all in this video. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, the ones that I liked, as well, you know, there, there were a couple that were kinda, eh, and a couple that were maybe a little long, and maybe a couple that were, uh, redundant. So, uh, I, I won't be getting through all of them, unfortunately, but I will be getting through most of them, like I said. Alrighty then, so, <clears throat> easy match here, easy matches for Rocky, yes, of course. Also, I like how you, you got to use Earthquake on that Weezing. Of course, that's not a possibility nowadays, thanks to friggin' Levitate. Also, I wanted to read one last comment by Probe100, uh, who busts out some, some complicated maths here. Uh, and he says, wait, this po this playthrough has been going on for over two years. I did some quick maths, and that would mean a new part came out every 25.17 days. Yeesh. Pretty sure it's a lot worse than that now. Alrighty. So, once again, did she, I'm pretty sure she has a Gengar, just one. God, they're, all the rest of them are poison types. And again, this is this is the thing that I mentioned in the pre the end of the previous video, you know, where I said that, you know, uh, psychic types were able to just run through everything because one of their most critical weaknesses in the ghost type was only represented by one represented represented Yes, represented. All right. By one family, and that's the Gengar family, and they're all weak to psychic. So that's not good. Yeah, Nightshade, that was the move. The one ghost type move in the game that does damage, and it's Nightshade, and it doesn't, it, it just does damage uh, equivalent to your level, so that doesn't quite help. Alrighty then, so I guess I might as well start running down the list here of these, uh, of these, uh, these, I, I really wish I'd stop repeating myself. I, I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous, you know, it's the final part, yeah, I gotta make this good, uh, of these slogans that you all gave me. Uh, and I wanted to preface this by saying thank you all so much, you know, for giving me these slogans. I really do appreciate them, and I like them. So, uh, you know, the, the fact that you guys were invested enough in this playthrough to want to do that, uh, I appreciate it, and I like that. So, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna start off, as we're about to fight Lance, uh, with Jake Sesney, who starts off with Team Shelly. Can she be beat? Shell, no. Oh, also, I, I believe I did read most of these at, at various points throughout the playthrough, but again, I just wanted to, you know, read them here for the final part, so that, you know, everybody gets, uh, everybody gets the shout-out that, that they deserved for their really awesome slogans. Um, alright. I mean, we already know what's gonna happen here, so I don't really have to talk much about what's happening in this, in this battle, or what he's saying. Uh, Probe and Co. says, Team Shelly, who the shell else? Also, I'm going to be going in order of uh, when I caught them, or w when I obtained them, at least. So, you know, starting from uh, Shelly, and then on to Velocitus, and so on and so on. Um, also, t uh, Michael Tuohy, Tuohy says, Team Shelly, don't compare me to Fireball! I really like that one. That, that's, that might be my favorite one. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just, that's just funny. Shelly is the uh, the fireball of this playthrough, but don't compare Shelly to Fireball, otherwise Shelly gets very upset. I can't really call Shelly a she because I transferred my Pokemon from this 
ROM hack into my Gen 7 game, and um, and and Shelly was got Shelly got male. I was kind of disappointed about that because I really wanted to go with a female Blastoise. You know, it's called Shelly, but I don't know. It just gave it male, so RNG, man. Anyway, oh, I, also I like it. Did I mention this before? Was was this a part of the the first Elite Four run through when uh, was facing Lance? He has an Onyx. What is what is Dragon type about Onyx exactly? Uh, I guess needed something to fill it out with. Dragonite spam says Team Do Duo because who we who needs wings to learn fly? Doesn't Do Duo and Dodrio have wings? Don't they like little tiny wings? I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, Giratina493 says, I decided to kill two birds with one stone and join Team Velocitus. I like that one. Uh, Aeronic97 says, Team Velocitus, no need to flex, double packs. Uh, because, you know, reference to the, the the ability. Oh no, that's big packs, right. Never mind. Provenco, uh, with another slogan, this time for Team Velocitus, says, two heads are better than one, three heads are better than two, and Velocitus is better. Than you. That one's a good one, too. Alrighty, so taking down this Seedra. Unfortunate that Kingdra doesn't exist in this generation. Am I right, guys? Because that would have actually been a dragon type. See, that's at least close to a dragon type. Onyx, I don't understand. Because Onyx evolves into Steelix, and that's a steel type, and. That has nothing to do with dragons at all. It doesn't even look like a dragon. It's just. Oh, maybe because it's Serpentine, I guess? <laughs> I guess. And, and, you know, I was gonna say, well, what about Arbok? But then, yeah, you know, Agatha just had an Arbok, and I guess they're trying to keep it thematic. Having Lance with a Poison type would be a little bit out there. So Moop takes down this Dragonite, because Moop is, in fact, the more uh, advanced Dragonite. He's the better one. <coughs> more skilled. You know, he's got better, uh, got better ELO. I can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Anthony. You're the new Pokemon League champion. Ow, I just hit my elbow. His name is Slick. I always, you know, I always forget that I named the my rival that. And of course, once again, that is a reference to my the very first time that I ever played Pokemon Gen 1. I named my rival Slick because he looked like it. All right, making sure everybody's all nice and healed up because I wasn't 100% sure how difficult this battle was going to be. Uh, okay, I guess a quick check, check of my info. Chicka checka. And, uh, oh, what's this? Just like the last time when I faced this guy. The, uh, the background gets all uh, ominously dark. And, of course, you know, he says, again, he says the same stuff that, you know, they say every single, or uh, the previous time. So there's not really anything new here in terms of dialogue. And then we see this fancy new background. Now, they're all kind of faded out initially, because, uh, actually, you know, Slick is such a big jerk that he got rid of all of his previous Pokémon except for Jolteon. So now he has a completely new team aside from Jolteon. So I, I highlighted the Jolteon, and then we're gonna go down the line here. I don't know if you can tell who the rest of those guys are, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they'll be unveiled, I guess. So Sand Slash we start off with, that's interesting, I suppose. And of course, just like, you know, the uh, original final rival battle, uh, he's very type variant. And, oh, that's right, so I think what I did here was, uh, I think I did this the first time I faced him in this playthrough, but I remember that it was also something that I did in the boss battles for the Champion Blue battle. Uh, and I just wanted to get each one of my Pokemon you know, they're 15 minutes of fame. So we're gonna run through and we're gonna pick. I, it was a really hard choice there to, like, who was gonna face Alakazam for me. So I decided to go with Rocky. He doesn't have the greatest special in the in the world here, but I figured he might be able to live through this. Oh my goodness, that was a critical hit too. This could potentially one shot here. Ooh, that was a little, a little sweats to me. All right. Uh, so moving on, Michael Tuohy, we're moving on to Mouser now, says, Team Mouser, unashamed mascot support. Riven, too, says, Team Mouser, the Clutch Master. <clears throat> uh, Matthew Prentice, says, Team Mouser, because those wicked shades could deflect anything back to the opponent. 
Of course, Mouser does in fact have very cool shades, as he has had since he was a Pikachu. And uh, that was it for that ex Executor. That was uh, very, very quick. Man, I'm so happy that Rocky lived. <laughs> Not only because of the fact that, <coughs> well, Rocky lived, but also because of the fact that I don't have to update the background for that. <laughs> um, T. Pryor says, Team Mouser, cool shades. Your argument is invalid. So is that, uh, so is that Cloyster. Cloyster is also invalid. Uh, who do we got left here? I actually forgot. It's, it's so, it's really small in the preview window here in good old Sony Vegas that I actually cannot see who the, oh, it's Ninetales, okay. I really couldn't tell who that was. So yeah, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a brand new team with a whole new attitude, but, uh, you know, again, he ditched all of his other Pokemon. I mean, come on, dude, I, I know you had a Pidgeot and a Fero, but come on, man, you don't have to get rid of all of them. Alrighty, I just, I still don't understand why he had both of those, it's really redundant. Alright, so that's that for that guy, and uh, the final round, oh, never mind. I spoke too soon, oh god. That's, uh, that's definitely a premature celebration. It's Jolteon, that guy. Yeah, he's got the whole background that I have there behind Slick. You can see the outline of Jolteon, which of course I did have the original time, the first time I faced Slick. But, uh, you know, I gave it a nice, like, a cool, like, monochromatic background. The white going into the black. I like that. I thought that looked really cool for, like, the finale. And, oh! Wow, that actually, that was a crit, too! And it did one-shot him. Interesting. Alright, alright. Still, well, I, I'm really, really glad that, uh, that Moop is able to resist, uh, electricity. Because that won us the fight. The battle. The battle, sorry. I'm not allowed to call it fight. That's, that's unacceptable. We're now the super champion! Because, you know, we were the champion before, and we just faced all these guys again. So I guess that makes us the super champion. It's like that. Or no, oh, I guess I could have called it the undisputed champion. You know, like in wrestling? That probably would have made more sense. So we're the undisputed, also super champion. <coughs> Thank you, Oak, for telling me stuff that I already know. I might as well get to another couple, get through another, another couple of uh, uh, slogans. Techno Ninja Seven says I'm on Team Mouser. It's a truly shocking experience. Ironic Ninety Seven is back again with a Team Mouser slogan idea. I'm the fastest, and I wear sunglasses. True Pixartron fan says gonna be on Team Acid Reflux here. Wrap them, wrap them to death like it's 1998. Now, what is this here that Oak, Oak is talking to me before we actually get to the PC to register my dudes in the Hall of Fame? Hmm. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? Sort of. It's, it's almost like the bonus, you know, Gary MFing Oak uh, thing, the meme. So, now we get to fight Oak. Now, I don't know if everybody knows this, but there actually was data included in the original uh, Pokemon, I think it was the entire uh, first generation, uh, for a trainer battle with Professor Oak. And this is basically uh, the exact same Pokemon that he would have if you were able to glitch the game and face him. Because you can, you can you can just do uh, specific glitches and then you can face Oak, uh, well, you know, in your actual game. But uh, here, you know, because it's a ROM hack and because they have to add something super fancy, now we get to face Professor Oak. This is the final, final battle. Final, final, final battle. Alrighty. So this is cool. I like this. Um, Crownified says, Team Acid Reflux, we're gonna beat your ass! Id. Jacob Mask says, Team Acid Reflux, best rapper in Kanto. Oh, where am I? I tapped out to the wrong thing. This, this Tauros has already given me a bunch of trouble. So, like the previous battle, I wanted to give everybody, you know, their own specific 1v1 battle. Give, again, give them their own 15 seconds of fame. Oh, that's right, it was taking a while because I was healing everybody up. That was it. Mouser had to tank some stuff, and then I think I healed Mouser as well. So. And, you know, I wanted to be careful not to hit the Tauros while I was doing that because it was just spamming rage over and over again. So, that seemed like a pretty bad idea. You know, I wonder if that was... I wonder if the, that Tauros, the AI, was coded specifically 
to deal with the Twitch Plays Pokemon chat, because, you know, it, 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 there's a pretty decent chance that, you know, they might just be spamming buttons, and then they might accidentally attack it or something while they're trying, like, if they're trying to do something else, like switch Pokemon or, or do, like, a status move or something, they might accidentally pick the wrong move and then hit that Tauros, and then that Tauros' attack will rise. Also, why did Pokemon even have Roar? You know, you'd think for the ROM hack, they would have taken that out. I'm pretty sure, isn't it Roar that's the one that doesn't work in battle? It's Whirlwind, right? Or, I mean, in trainer battles, Roar is the one that doesn't work in Gen 1. Uh, holy Whirlwind for trainers. Roar, Roar will ro Whirl... Oh my goodness, what a tongue twister. Roar will work on wild Pokemon. Who are, we, who are we facing here? Oh, Venusaur. Or no, yeah, Venusaur, right. <laughs> I got a little a little confused there, because I saw the Arcanine, and then I was like, wait a minute, huh? Alrighty. I was too busy talking, I didn't pay attention to the fact that we just fainted the Arcanine. Also, uh, let's see. Oh, I just did that one. Uh, the Gaming Bites. It says Acid Reflux, the heartburn of Love Disc. <laughs> oh my god, no, I have to update the background! Uh, unfortunate, but true. God, now it's- wait, now it's gonna spam Razor Leaf, which is gonna do, like, nothing. Yeah, it's like- and it was a crit! Moop is, like, four times resistant to grass types, if and I recall correctly, because Dragon and Flying both resist grass type attacks. There we go, taking him down. Taken down in the first hit, was it? I'm trying to remember the Pokemon Stadium announcer guy. Anyway, off to Gar Gyarados we go. Now, who did I pick for this? Because I already did Mouser. Who did I pick here? What, acid Re Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Acid Reflux is close enough to uh, doing super effective damage to this guy. Unfortunate. For grass types, anyway, dealing with Gyarados. It's half flying. But for electric types? Hey, it's like a field day. Uh, I think they did at least half. I think we're good here. Dragon Rage at level 100. Okay, sure. I mean, sure. I mean, guess I guess give him the only damaging dragon type attack in the game. Cause I'm yeah, Twister didn't become dragon type until Gen 2, I believe. I'm actually gonna look that up. Twister, Twister, a hot spot. And of course, finish it off with Acid because it's Acid Reflux. Um, let's see. Er? It's not quite telling me. Oh boy. Um. Oh, and then of course his final, his ace in the hole, is a Pikachu. Why wouldn't it be? See, so all five of these Pokemon that I faced before this are the Pokemon that Professor Oak does have. The, the starter that he has is based on whatever starter you chose, so he picked, you know, the super effective version of it. And the Pikachu, of course, he picked as a as a reference to Pokemon Yellow. Confetti everywhere, we're finished! The end! Ugh, well, almost the end, you know, it's, it's the end for actually having to do stuff. But yeah, confetti raining down and everything. Also, yeah, that was really unfortunate. I forgot to update the fact that Moop wasn't asleep after uh, the deal with the Venusaur, but uh, I forgot. That was uh, upsetting. But hey, I updated it at the very end, so there you go. All right, so let's run through and give everybody their due. Starting with Mouser, of course. Then we move on to Rocky. <laughs> you know, if, spoiler alert, just look on the left side and you'll see who's up next. Then we got Shelly. Of course, the uh, the original. The starter of the starting starting lineup of this Pokemon party team. Crazy dudes and crazy Velocitus with his crazy three heads. They're all angry. Unlike uh, the art that makes like one of them angry, one of them sad, and I think one of them's like indifferent. Moop! Moop is here. And Moop has gotten us uh, the victory, right? Didn't Moop finish that? Oh, no, he finished off the, uh, the, uh, some, somebody. And there's me! Sort of. <laughs> With the female character sprite, of course, never seen unless it's, uh, ROM hacked. Entirely complete. Congratulations. Hey, we have the diploma to, uh, to show that the fact that we have, in fact, on that. All right, so now we get to watch the credits because we are, in fact, at the end of this playthrough. Let me run through the rest of these uh, slogans because, again, I have tons of time here. Uh, Magnamics, aka Kite, says, Team Acid Reflux, he makes our hearts burn. 
Also, you know, a funny thing that I was actually thinking about, uh, during this video, this commentary, was uh, the fact that Kite, I remember specifically saying he didn't like Mouser, because, uh, he said he didn't like Mouser because he thought that Mouser was a real weakling and useless, and the only thing, and the only reason that people liked him because was because of the sunglasses. Yeah, he was not a fan of Team Mouser. Uh, Alkane 1993 says, Team Acid Reflex all the way, KOing Pokemon all through the day, delivering pain is where he blossoms, he is the root of your opponent's problems. See, now I have plenty of time to read those really long poems. <laughs> Amazing Zangu says, Team Moop, the best group. Uh, Zero B36, aka Brian, says, Team Moop, if you, if you like dragons, here's the scoop, join Team Dratini or you will eat poop. Well, of course, he's a dragon right now, but... Uh, this was back when he was uh, a youngster. Uh, Mr. Maven96 says, I'm on Team Moop, and the slogan for when he becomes Dragonite is Watch as Moop Shoops the Woo. It's a work in progress and sounded better in my head. <laughs> See, if not for that part at the end there that he said, uh, I probably wouldn't have taken that because that was mm, pretty. Uh. Uh, True Pixartron fan back again says, Team Moop is love, Team Moop is life. There's your hashtag Team Moop slogan. Now we get these special credits for the ROM hack. It, this was, in fact, Tearn. And, uh, you know, I wasn't there for the very end of the uh, the original TPP run uh, when they they must have seen this, and I uh, bet the chat was uh, really happy about that. Uh, AJB89 says, I'm on Team Rocky because Bullwinkle's not in the game yet. Funny. Uh, Tarsten Calidus Corvus says, Beware Team Eminem out to get you. Moop and Mouser. That was a combination one. And finally, we have Flash Silver 88, who is not on a team of any of the Pokemon that I chose. He says, I'm on Team Slick's Jolteon. Slogan, too slick to catch. Good stuff. Huh. <sighs> it's finally over. It's taken a very long time to get here. Over two years. Over two years. And that's really unfortunate because of how short this playthrough. Well, I mean, it's not really short, short, but you know, it's it's 31 parts, so it's not super long or anything. But still, yeah, it took me way too long to get here, and I do apologize for any of the people that were really uh, hyped and you know waiting for this playthrough to get here. You know, it's just, ugh, I'm so bad with that, and I really, I, I do apologize. Um, every time I thought about this playthrough, I was just like, man, why am I not done with it yet? I have to be done with this now. But anyway, thank you all so much for everybody that stuck through all the way to the end, all the way this two, almost two and a half year long journey, uh, getting from the very beginning of when we got our Shelly, all the way to the end here with Tearn. Um, but yeah, again, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all in the next playthrough, which I'm not going to spoil because that's just how I roll. And also, I do want to say that if you feel very generous and want to go ahead and donate to me, and fund all the crazy, wacky, wild stuff that I do here on this YouTube channel, there is a link to donate to me in the video description below. So once again, I want to thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Two and a half years worth of thank yous. Uh, and again, everybody that has participated in this playthrough and given me slogans and comments and everything and, you know, all that stuff, uh, I appreciate it so much and it made it so much better. Um, so yeah. I guess that's gonna be it. I guess I'll sign out now. So for me, Mr. The Playing With Mui, I will see you all next time.